surprised to learn that farmers, men and women who work the land, often can't fix the gear that they use to do the job. Many manufacturers make their products so that only dealerships have access to the tools needed to repair farm equipment. But as THV 11's Ian Russell shows us, that is changing and opening up new possibilities for producers. When something goes wrong with your car, sometimes you'll try to fix it yourself. For farmers though, when their John Deere equipment goes wrong, they don't really have that luxury. They pretty much have to take it to the dealership. Now that's changed though, and the farmers that we spoke with tell us that's a win. For Trent Dabbs, farming runs in the family. Me and my dad and stepmom, and we farm about 3,000 acres of rice, soybeans, and corn. But the tractors he grew up on don't look the same anymore. Modern tractors are a lot more powerful and have a lot more tech on board. Everything has sensors or some type of software, hardware involved with it, pretty much reliant or had to go to a dealer to, to get those kind of things done. To fix those issues, farmers like Dabs would more than likely have to have a John Deere technician come and look at the problem, costing hundreds of dollars just in labor costs. You know, it was a pretty simple fix and we could do it if we just had access to that to that software program. And now they do. Years in the making, the American Farm Bureau Federation and John Deere signed an agreement earlier this week to allow farmers to work on their own equipment, buying needed parts straight from John Deere. It's a big deal, not just for dabs, but farmers across Arkansas. You're making equipment payments on something that's not moving or giving you any benefit at all on the farm. John McMinn at the Arkansas Farm Bureau knows that this doesn't just save farmers money, it saves them time as well. This could be the difference between a tractor being down on the field for days, weeks at a time to a matter of hours. And now Dabs can look forward to the next generation on his family's farm, one where they can keep doing the work they've been doing for years and save money as well. I think it's great that the two private sectors got together and created this and, and hopefully some of the other dealerships and, and equipment manufacturers will follow suit. In Stuckart, Ian Russell, THP 11 News. Your tractor today, your home tech tomorrow, perhaps. Ian, thank you. If you want more specifics about this change in agreement with John Deere, you can head over to THV11.com.